on our third vlog, let us now visit the sky. City Flying Club. Now we're with Sir Will and Boy Guevara. Sir Boy Guevara. And Charles. Charles Chan, of course. Of course Harris. Harris. So uh, could you please tell us a little bit of your flying club, Sir Will? Okay. Yes. So, so Angeli City Flying Club is a private members only flying club based here in the heart of Pampanga. So we were established in the mid 1990s by um, some guys in Angeli City and it's predominantly targeting recreational pilots based here in the Philippines. So we have a lot of foreigner members, a lot of Filipino members. Um, as I say, we're a private members only club. We've got around 50 aeroplanes based here. 50. So, so we're open seven days a week, 365 days a year, except when there's lockdowns like currently, we're open to members only. Um, so we're open 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. seven days a week, uh, 365 days of the year. Sometimes we might have a little holiday here and there, but most of the time we're open because we're excited to fly. We don't need much of a reason to fly. Sun comes out, runway's open, airplane's out, and come and fly. Flight's typically 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on what you want. Um, we have an adventure or a scenic option. Yes. Sir Will, let me ask you how safe are your ultralight planes? Um, this is not safe. It's mm. fun. It's and fun. fun and safety don't really go together. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I mean, we, we, have, an, we have an excellent safety record. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, things that aren't safe are uh, okay. also uh, unfun. Uh, guys, uh, safe push. Uh, he was, uh, <laughs> it, is, it is safe. Okay? <laughs> so the ultralights are like any adventure sport. You know, they're, they're, they're a lot of fun. A um, little bit of risk, but a lot of fun. Yeah, so, you, yeah. know, we're, you know, we've been going now for... 30 years. 30 years. Uh, and we've got no. an excellent safety record. No no accident. No accident. Okay, excellent guys, no record. accident. Yeah. Actually, when uh, Sir Will was uh, kidding around, I was like saying, uh, should I still fly this? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just ask Sir Aris to do it. <laughs> Sacrificial. Yeah. Yeah. You, you always volunteer someone you don't like first. Yeah. 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 Straight in. yeah. Oh, if he comes back, then go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> around about, in all seriousness, around about 15,800 pesos for a 12 month period. Uh, wow. We only do calendar year memberships, so from January to December of the current year. But it works out around 50 pesos a day. So it's really, really quite affordable to come and join here. And we are private members only. Um, so you have to be a member to come here. But we do, as Boy mentioned, we do offer one day memberships where you can just come and buy a one day membership, see if you enjoy flying the aeroplane use the cafe, use the swimming pool. We've got a really, really good menu up in the cafe. Uh, enjoy the flights, come for the day, experience what we are here. And if you like it, by all means, sign up for a year. And then, if you want to, learn to fly. We'd love you to come and learn to fly. Our goal here is to take people who have a passion about aviation and encourage them to explore that passion and get airborne in one of our airplanes just for fun. Uh, is there any age limit for? Or uh, height limit, right? Height limit? Yeah. yeah, height limit. I see. Yeah. Ano po yung height? What is a bit it? here? About here. Yeah. yeah. But anyone who is taller than that yeah. height. Yeah. So approximately that is around three feet? Yeah, around three feet. Three feet. The, yeah, the main thing is that you can sit safely in the airplane with the seatbelt on. Mm. So that's the biggest thing. So if you if you're vertically challenged, if you're a short person, uh, you can still come. We just need to make sure you fit in the seatbelt. Um, I have a question. Uh, those um, like cones over there that are flying up yes. there. The ones on the end of the big stick. Yeah. 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 That tells us the wind direction and the speed. So that swivels around the top of the giant stick. Yes. And so depending on where it's pointing is where the wind's coming from. Yeah. Yeah. So currently the wind's coming from the north, predominantly straight in from the north. Yeah. And because of the way the, the windsock is angled, you can tell that that's blowing somewhere five to seven knots in speed. Wow.
Oke naman. Mahangin, manyaman. Presko sa ano, presko sa taas. Sobrang presko. Ang ganda ng view. Hi guys! So ngayon, on the way na kami sa... Yonas Park! Yon. Ilang oras ba tulog mo, Paris? Apat. Apat. Ikaw? Uh, seven. <laughs> seven to to? Oo. Oh. Diba? Parang late ka ba? <laughs> Naka seven hours ako, kaya full charge. Full charge? <laughs> Grabe, kainggit. Kayo man. girls, nakailan hours kayo. Hi. Four hours lang po, pero full charge kami. Ah, okay. Wow. Fast charger ko ka pala. Ah, oh, fast charger pala itong mga to. O, oh, ikaw, Aliyah. Mamaya lang po. Ha? Ah, hindi ka natulog? Ilang oras tulog mo? Aliyah, oh, ilang? Four? Ha? Ah, four? Four. <laughs> ako lang pala yung nakalamang sa inyo. Oh, no? grabe. That's the advantage of, ano, pag wala kang buhok. Ang buhok. <laughs> <laughs> Kailangan ba na yung magpakalbo? <laughs> Fiona's farm with Sir Bong Alvaro. <laughs> uh, um, could you please tell us a little bit of uh, at the attractions here? Pwede po makita ng mga bisita po natin dito sa Fiona's farm po. Magalang. Of okay. course, yeah. Thank you and thank you for visiting our place. Ano? We have uh, around, we have I think 28 villas. We have few for couples. Then we have villas uh, good for four, six. 8, 14, and we have two which are good for 20. Wow. Uh, ano, ano, mga villa, 20 packs. We do not call it a, 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 as a resort if you will notice. It's Fiona's Farm. Oh, yeah. Because we wanted them na uh, yung pumupunta dito maka experience ng farm experience. Mm -hmm. Pagkita nyo, may mga farm kami sa likod at saka may aquaculture kami. Mm -hmm. We also have some uh, mga animals. Primarily, my my main job is I'm a farmer. Fiona's farm kasi isa sa mga encourage uh, children, especially mga nagpupunta dito, to love farming. May, meron kami mga closed and open coming mm -hmm. events areas. Ever since na, na ano ito, we operate like a hotel. You have to book a villa or a room. Uh, may mga limits yung mga capacity ng each room. Lalo na ngayon, naghati tayo. Following the protocols as you have seen uh, outside, kung makikita nyo, hindi lang dahil pandemic yung nakikita nyo yung uh, TV na yan, mm -hmm. we call this our virtual assistant. Mm -hmm. Pag magbubuk ka kasi dito, darating ka na dito dati, nung hindi pandemic, darating ka dito, walang front desk. Mm -hmm. Kausap mo uh, computer ang computer virtual. Mm -hmm. Siya yung mag, siya yung mag, ano sa'yo, magbubuk, mag lahat-lahat. Wow. Ah uh, ah uh, it's uh, nakita yan ng IETF no kaya tuwa tuwa Hi so full charge din naman <laughs> Oh masarap ba yung pagkain Sobra po Thank you Fiona's Farm Thank you The thank you. best yung place yung mood yung staff very accommodating and friendly nila guys very recommended Ah. So 1 to 10 rating. Uh, 10 is the highest. It's 11. 11. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> do you agree? Yes, yes. Wait, 100 degrees. Do you agree? Oh, Sir Bong Alvaro, thank you very much for your hospitality. Hello, we're here now at Carion Pastries. Here at San Nicolas Uno, Magalang. San Nicolas Uno, Magalang. And we're here with Sir Francis Carion. Third generation na po kayo, Yes. No? Uh, and we are now with Miss... Hi! I'm Selena Yabut. Chani uh, um, Angeles, second runner of 2019. Hi! Oh. I'm Ira Bonifacio and I'm Muchani Pora, 2017. Yung business namin ang nag-start ng lola ko. Uh, 1946 siya officially nag-start. Pero prior to 1946, yung family niya kasi may hilig kumuha na ang... Uh, sweets and pastry. So after the war, the Second World War, the Chumalira people war, so naisipan niyang magbenta ng mga produkto ng natutunan niya from 
her mother and grandmother. Oh, wow. Hanggang ngayon, nandito pa. Thank God. So, yun. Ang gamit natin for, namin for pastillas is Carabao's milk. Uh, Nadideliver siya every day, every morning. Para siguradong fresh. Tapos ayun, hinalo lang namin siya ng sugar and then nililuto para maging pastilla. So, Sir Francis, turuan nyo naman kami paano magluto or mag-prepare nung uh, plantanilla. Tama ko ba? Uh, plantanillas. Yes, plantanillas. Basically, yung plantanillas, originally, ang feeling niya is lati. Lati? Pero since kami madaming carabaos niyo, naisipan namin pastillas. Mm. So, basically, ang para siyang crepe oh. na may palaman na pastillas. Mm. And yung crepe, is made of pure egg yolk. Tapos niluluto namin siya sa syrup. So water and sugar lang siya. Tapos pinapaflow namin sa bakas yung uh, uh, syrup yung egg yolk batter. Tapos maluluto siya. Then after nun, lalagyan ng filling. Then ito plate na. Na. So, ito na yung finished product natin. Plantanillas ng Magalang Pampanga. Alright! Pero kailangan niyo pang tikman. Ayan! Favorite part. <laughs> Perfect. Magugusto niyo to guys. Uh-huh. Promise. Eh, hey, sarap. Hindi ako nagbibiro. <laughs> Tapos, sakto lang yung tamis niya. Hindi masyadong matamis. So, hindi ka mauumay. Mama, nandito ka! <laughs> you guys are late. <laughs> so, yun po. Sa best Pasalubong, Iskarion, dito lang po sa may mag-aalam. Good afternoon po. Barangay San Francisco po niya, Kagawang Cabrera. Pasalamat po po kang Mr. Pino Dizon, kaya ang tawag niya kaya nagkaya kaming kabayo pa rin kaya si Chiu Lopako. Thank you very much po. Sana po ito lang kaming blessings in God's care right now. For Hinawad, Banal na Bundok, Magalang, Pampanga. We have 14 stations here and we are the first station, the last supper. So yung mga gustong mag-reflect ng konti, uh, lalo na pag Holy Week, no? marami pumupunta po dito kasi malapit na malapit po. Nasa, pa, yes. nasa paanan na po tayo ng bundok arayat. This is free and open to public, especially to the younger ones. Uh, marami po tayong matututunan and at the same time makakapag, makakapasyal tayo. It is also free for students, lalo na kapag face-to-face na tayo and pwede din siyang gawing pag-retreat para din sa mga gusto mag-reflect. Oh, maganda po dito. Medyo malamig kasi matas nga yung elevation niya. Mag- uh, very tahimik. So we're now here at the seventh station. The Simon of Serene carries the cross of Jesus. Hello, so we're here at Cafe Uno. Nandito po tayo sa Magalang Pampanga. And we're here with the owner of Cafe Uno, Ma'am Gina. So, uh, mag- magbigay lang po kayo ng konting uh, input po kung kailan po nag-establish uh, po ito. Yeah. Ha? Soft opening pa lang po, no? Yeah. We started, ano, February 14. Actually, since the name Cafe Uno, mm-hmm. um, parang ino-offer talaga namin dito is coffee. coffee. We have the best coffee here around Magalang. And tignan mo naman yung, ano, yung uh, view at saka yung weather, nakaka-relax. Parang nasa ibang lugar ka na, pag nagpunta ka dito sa lugar namin ng Magalang, Ayala, uh, yan, yeah, and this is the area. Parang, and we have this, ano, parang kakagawa A-house. lang na oh. A-house. I call it A-house. Um, yung gustong mag-relax tapos gusto nilang mag-overnight so pag nag-stay dito we can arrange uh, kung gusto nilang mag-hike um, going to a riot akit ng bundok yun, yun ang pwede gawin dito while they are staying here and they can enjoy the coffee uh, you are serving food na rin po no? yeah, serving we're serving food, like uh, buffalo wings yeah, like, at saka mga hamburgers, burgers, yeah. in burgers addition with that um, parang Kasi di ba nasa bundok tayo tapos uh, 
may nag parang super chill and relax ng ano ng vibe di ba mm-hmm. kaya yun I think yun yung pinaka best na may offer yeah, na kape yeah chill chill lang oo oh, chill lang ah uh, yung pool namin parang four and five lang it's like I call it baby pool mm-hmm. kasi normally dito sa especially this area ah uh, mahirap kasi nito big dito I mean it's just so expensive to have ano water I'm just so blessed to have yung parang old fashion na ano ko jack pump <laughs> so guys I uh, would like to invite you here at Cafe Uno Magalang Ayala Magalang Pampanga so social po dito ah Ayala po kasi siya eh, no? <laughs> Ayala Magalang Pampanga uh, Cafe Uno this try their coffee it's excellent and may mga food din po sila and very soon we could stay here overnight and hindi na po masyadong mahal daw so uh, uh, affordable so, so opening po we might be back and uh, we'll feature it again thank you the channel would like to thank the following sponsors Sir Francis Carrion of Carrion Sweets and Patries Magalang established since 1946 Fiona's Farm make it memorable make it safer by Mr. Paul Alvaro thank you po and Aporica's Meats, Beef, Pork, Chicken, and More by Mr. Jerome Manaloto and Ms. Aramie. Aporica's Meats, you'll enjoy the best meat quality in town. Cafe Uno by Ms. Gina Castro. Thank you po. Thank you po. And of course, Municipality of City of Magala and Tourism Office of Magala. Special thanks to Councilor Bexon. Thank you, sir. Thank you po.